Hello and welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Wise tales from storytellers around the world which will make you laugh and sometimes cry. Recommended from ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello Super Great Kids. Do any of you like dancing? This week, Toop is going to share a dancing story from Haiti in the Caribbean. It's funny and warm and it even has a song in it. Hurrah! One of the characters in the story is a trickster. Can you think of any trickster stories you know? See if you can remember a super great kids trickster story while we tell your grown-ups about our sponsors. Hello, super great kids. Did you think of a trickster story? How about Kojo the Rabbit? Remember that one? Or the race between donkey and toad. Well, now here's Toop with another trickster story. See if you can spot who the trickster is. Are you sitting comfortably? I'll say crick and you say crack. That's how they do it in Haiti. Ready? Crick. Crack. That's right. Let's do it again a bit louder. Crick. Crack. Here it comes. Kokioko Samba, now I dance, now I dance. Kokioko Samba, now I dance like this. Kokioko Samba, now I dance, now I dance. Kokioko Samba, now I dance like this. A long time ago. Somewhere in Haiti, within the Caribbean, there was a king. This king, what he loved most of all was dancing. He loved to open up his palace grounds to artists, dancers, musicians, painters. He enjoyed the celebration of entertainment. But one day, his treasurer, came to see him, saying, Sire, you can have no more entertainers. No more must come into the kingdom. Sire, all must stop. Why? asked the king. You know how much I love entertainment. Storytellers, dancers, acrobats, musicians, all are welcome. No, said the treasurer, we do not have any money in the treasury. All the cowrie shells are very low. Very, very low indeed. So all must stop. Cowrie shells are a small little seashell that you can find. That was the currency. The king was very, very sad indeed. He was going to miss all the entertainment. That evening, he went for a walk in his garden. And as he was walking and listening to the, the crickets and the grasshoppers, he started to sway backward and forth to the sound of the night music. And the song came to his mind. Kokio ko o samba, now I dance, now I dance. Kokio ko o samba, now I dance like this. He made a song. Kokio ko o samba, now I dance. Oh, now I dance. Yeah, Kokio ko o samba, now I dance like. Oh, the king thought to himself how clever he was. He had made up a song, he had made up a dance, and the king thought, you know what? I will hold a competition. If anyone can dance the Kokioka Osamba, they will win a hundred thousand cowrie shells. Wow! He went to his bed, singing his song, 
Tokyo go samba. Now I dance. Early in the morning, he called someone to his palace to write up a poster and make a proclamation saying, Whoever can dance the Kokioko Osamba will win a hundred thousand cowrie shells. And he put that poster all around the island. Oh, people, they came from the villages. They looked at the poster and they said, A hundred thousand cowrie shells? I'm going to enter the competition. When the time came, the palace gates were opened and dancers came from all over the island and beyond. Dancers came from Cuba. Dancers came from Guyana. Dancers came from America. Dancers came from Ireland. Dancers came from far, far away. They tried to dance the Kokioko Osamba. Koki... Oh, I'm sure this is the Kokioko Osamba, but you know, the king said to them, no, none of you have got it. None of you have got the Kokioko Osamba. This was how the king was able to have free dancing and free entertainment for as long as he wished. The king thought to himself, he was very, very clever. One day, the king's treasurer, remember him? He has a particular name. His name is Malice. The treasurer, Malice, he was returning to the palace gates. He had forgotten something there. And as he was passing the walled gate of the palace gardens, he could hear, Kokioko Osamba, now I dance, now I dance. Oh, said the treasurer, that sounds familiar. Kokioko Osamba, now I dance like this. The treasurer put his eye and spied the king in his garden, dancing, twirling around, hands above his head and hands down low. Kokioko Osamba, now I dance, woo, now I dance. Hey, said the treasurer, the king. He has the Kokioko Osamba. That's why he can have free dancing, free entertainment, and no one will ever win the competition. The treasurer took out a notepad and started to write down the words to the song. Koki, o ko o yeah, samba, hands in the air, yes, hands down low, yes. And before you know it, the treasurer... Malice wrote down all the steps and all the words to the song, saying to himself as he left the palace gardens that he was going to win a hundred thousand cowrie shells. Early in the morning, the treasurer, Malice, he woke up and he went into the woods to go and find a friend named Buki. You see, Malice He could not enter the competition himself because he worked for the king. Malice said, I cannot enter the competition. The king knows me and I would break all the rules. Malice had to find someone independent, which is why now he is knocking upon the door of his friend named Buki. Buki is a big, broad man who works the land. Buki does not have the time for entertainment and dancing and singing. Buki works hard. But Malice knocked upon the door. Buki! Buki! Buki opened up the window and looked down, saying, Malice, what is it you want? Oh, said Malice, don't you want to enter the competition and win a hundred thousand cowrie shells for you, Mrs. Buki, and all the Buki, 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 Bukis? Buki looked at Malice, saying, Malice, every time I get myself tied up with you, it's always a problem for me. Malice, I don't want anything to do with you. But Malice replied, Ah, Buki, come, 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 come. Come down. You will win a hundred thousand cowrie shells and things will be good. I promise you. I promise you. Buki reluctantly came down and found himself now standing before Malice. 
Oh, said Buki, what is it now about some competition? Ah, oh, said Malice, the competition. The king is holding a competition, and anyone who can dance the Kokioko Osamba will win the contest prize. Now, Buki, I have the words and I have the dance, but I cannot enter the competition myself, so you will have to enter on our behalf. Mm, said Buki, I'm not sure about this, you know. Oh, yes, said Malice, I'm very sure. Now, listen, it goes like this. Kokio mm, um, ko o samba. Now, now I don't, you know, Malice has a croaky kind of thin voice. Now I don't, Kokio, hands in the air. Now I, hands down low. Now I dance like this. All morning, Malice taught Buki the steps, the words, the words, and the steps. And sometimes Buki would get his feet tied up between what was right foot and what was left foot and how to turn this way and how to turn that way and would fall flat on his face. But eventually, Buki was able to learn the words and the dance. Kokio ko o samba ba. Now I dance. Now I dance. That's it, you got it. Kokio ko o samba. Now I dance like this. Before you know it, once again, the king's palace doors were open. Dancers came from all over the world to enter the competition. But to each one, the king said, No, that is not the Kokioko. No, that is not the Kokioko. And the king sat there, feeling so happy with himself that he could have free dancers, free entertainment. The day drew close to the end, and the king said, I'm tired now, and I wish to close my palace doors. Send all away, and they can come back again next week. But his treasurer, Malice, came, saying, Oh, sire, there's one more dancer left for you to see. Oh, said the king, No, I'm tired. I want to go and drink my cocoa and have a nice toast before I go to bed. Oh, but, sire, this man have travelled from far, in the hills, would you not see the last one for the day? And the king said, Okay, let that one come in. Who do you think came into the palace grounds? Yes, Buki. Buki, big, bold, tall and strong, came in and said, Sire, I have for you... The Kokioko Osamba. Yes, 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 said the king. Everyone thinks they have the Kokioko Osamba. Get on with it, get on with it. And Buki started. Kokioko Osamba. Now I dance. Now I dance. The king, he opened his eyes wide. Now I dance like this. The king, his jaw dropped. Kokio ko o samba. Now I dance. Now I dance. Buki grew in confidence and danced faster and faster. Now I dance like this. Kokio ko o samba. Now I dance, oh, now I dance, eh, kokio ko samba, now I dance like this. The king is a king, and a king's word is a king's word, and everyone could see upon the face of the king that Buki had won the competition. The king said, Buki, I do not know how you have done it, but you have sung the song of the Kokioko, and you have danced the dance of the Kokioko, and so you have won a hundred thousand cowrie shells. Buki smiled. <clears throat> Buki picked up the large sack of shells, threw it on his back, 
thanked the king and left the palace and started to make his way back home to Mrs. Buki and all the little Buki 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 Bukis. As Buki was walking through the forest, who do you think would come to meet him? Yes, Malice, the treasurer. Ah, said Malice. Ah, you've won, you've won, you've won, you've won, you've won. I knew you would win, I knew you would win. Now, listen, Buki, when someone wins something, you know they should celebrate. Yes, says Buki. Celebrate? Yes, you must give thanks. Give thanks for your winnings. Buki, why don't you put down your large sack and let us dance a celebration dance and give thanks that we have won? Buki put down the sack with a big beaming smile upon his face. And Malice said, Now, now follow me as we celebrate this winning. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. Now do what I'm doing, Buki. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. Buki, do it. Come on. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. That's it, that's it, you got it. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and... Uh, now make sure your eyes are closed. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and... You have to dance round and round. If you have no sense, put your... What do you think Malice was doing? As Buki danced with his eyes closed, his arms in the air, round and around. Yes, Malice stole the bag of a hundred thousand cowrie shells. And as Malice was making his way with the bag over his own back, he kept on shouting behind him, Faster, Buki! Dance faster. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. Round and round. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. If you have no sense, put your arms in the air, close your eyes and dance. And before you know it, Buki was swept up with the song, with the dance, round and round and round and round, until he got so dizzy he fell to the ground. Opening his eyes, he called, Malice, Malice. But Malice was long gone. And of course, the treasure was gone with him. And once again, Buki scratched his head, saying, Every time I meet that man named Malice, I always get the short end of the stick. Once again, Malice has won. Buki picked himself up, and returned back home to Mrs. Buki and all the little Buki Buki Bukis. And so is the end of my story. But, may I say, if there's one thing that no one can ever take away from the king, that is his song and his dance. And if there's one thing that no one can ever take away from Buki, that is his song and his dance. And if there's one thing that no one can ever take away from you, is this story that you are listening to. Kokio ko o samba. Now I dance, woo, now I dance, hey. Kokio ko o samba. Now I dance like this. Kokio ko o samba, now I dance, hey, now I dance, hey. Kokio ko o samba, now I dance like this. Thanks for listening. And a special thanks to Diane Walkstein, the storyteller from New York who went to Haiti 50 years ago to collect stories, including this one, so that we can enjoy it today. Did you figure out who the trickster is? 
It begins with mm, malice. That's it. Now, a quick dip into my mailbag of happies, which you've sent in this week. Thanks to Elka, who is five and from Bromley in the UK, for her colouring of a chameleon from the story Blue Lizard Girl. And thanks to six-year-old Clemence for a very beautifully detailed drawing of Coyote and Baby Turtle. She and her five-year-old sister, Eugenie, are big fans of super great kids' stories. And thanks to Diego, who's also five and lives in Las Vegas. Diego was born in Brazil, where they have lots of poisonous snakes. And he sent us a magnificently scary snake picture, which he's cut out. It looks a bit like the Snake King from Toop's story, How the Snakes Got Their Poison. Thanks, Diego. Awesome. And thanks to sisters Ida, who is six, and Mabel, who is four, from Brisbane. They listen to our stories on the drive to school, and Ida has sent us two beautiful pictures which she drew in the car. Pictures of the white elephant and of the three dolls. Thanks very much for that, Ida. And a really big thanks to all adults who are supporting us on Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts doesn't let us see who you are, but it's making us very happy and helping to pay for our storytellers. If you're a subscriber and you'd like a mention by name, get in touch by Facebook Messenger. Thanks too to all of you who've given a donation on Ko-fi. Really appreciated. If you'd like to support us, you can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, where you can listen ad-free, get early access to the next story, and get one super great bonus story a month. Or you can go to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories and give a one-off payment. And finally, thanks to all of you who've been saying kind things about us on Apple Reviews. Like Mimi, who is seven, who likes the story Tianjie and the Yellow Dress. And stay tuned, the week after next it's our first birthday and we're going to give you a special bonus birthday story and we have some super great kids story t-shirts to give away to five of you who send in pictures inspired by our stories. Have a look back at some of our stories and draw a picture of your favourite character. Thank you and thank you all for listening, especially in Melbourne. And thanks to our sponsor. Keep telling those stories. 